Hey folks, uh, today we're going to look at protection, production and planning, but just for tropical storms, okay? And it's hopefully going to be quite a short one, this one, um, just to outline which is best. So talking of which is best, which is best, sorry, if you just draw like a podium, um, we're going to have first, uh, second and third, okay? So if we write that on there, first, second, and third. Now, very often in uh, GCSE exams, they'll ask you um, kind of rank or within the answer, you'll have to show which is best. So for tropical storms, if you think about Typhoon Haiyan or Hurricane Sandy, they are really, really devastating, but also quite possible to predict. Okay, and you can plan for them and you can protect against them. But which which would you say is best? Well, I would argue, and you can't really get this wrong, but you do need to be able to back up your answer. But I would ask, argue that the first one, the best one, is prediction. Okay, I would say it's prediction. The reason being that they can do a three to five day forecast. Okay, that's quite a lot of time. So if we write three, two, five day forecast. Now this um, basically uses uh, satellite imagery um, of the storm and tracking it and computer models. Okay, so um, it's pretty accurate. They can move, they can be kind of... Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, volatile. <laughs> they can shift position um, unexpectedly, but it does give people time to evacuate. Okay, so a three to five day forecast using satellite images and computer models. Okay, there's a lot of things you can't predict. Earthquakes, very hard to predict. Volcanoes, similarly. But tropical storms, um, you know, they, they can do it. Um, and the one you want to look at is the Met Office. Okay, they have a really good model. And the other one is um, NOAA, which is the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration, which is a bit of a mouthful, but you would just put NOAA. Okay. So yeah, they're great. It gives people a chance to escape. Right, second. Second place, I think, has to be planning. Okay. Planning. The reason being is in that time, you can put things together. In fact, you can have them, if you're in an earthquake-proof zone, anytime you want. Things like an emergency kit. I'm not going to list what goes on here, but, you know, things like torches, um, food, you can have um, medical supplies. You can also do something called an evacuation plan. And you share this with your family. So when and if that awful um, event comes, you've got a plan. You all know where you're going to go. And if, you know, mobile phones go down, you can get there. You can have things like sandbags. Okay. Um, just at the door, ready to go to protect your property from flood water. Um, these are all things that are easy to plan for a tropical storm. Now, in that three to five day window, you can do those things. However, this is why I'm putting this last. Okay, oh, use the wrong colour. Hang on a minute. I can't cope with that, it has to be the right one. There we go. Um, the last one is protection. Okay. Now, you can do this with time, but it just isn't going to happen quickly. So what I'm talking about here is maybe having your house up on stilts. Now, that's a good thing if, you know, you're worried about floodwaters, but houses on stilts can still be destroyed by the strong winds. Um, you can do things, it takes a bit longer, but you can board up windows okay or you can create shutters you can have shutters that's to protect your glass from shattering um you can do things like reinforced uh roofs so you can get roof tiles that basically won't fall off um and the other thing you can do 
and I'm just going to put it over here, is you can build something called a hurricane shelter. Okay, now that can't obviously be done in a short window, but you can definitely do those things um, with time, okay, beforehand. So, which is best for me all day long? It is prediction, okay? Then planning, then protection.